Bye Bye Baby. Janet and Alan Albert. <clears throat> a sad story with a happy ending. There was once a baby who had no mommy. The baby lived in a house all by himself. He fed himself and bathed himself. He even changed his own nappy. It was very sad. Then, one night, when the baby was putting himself to bed, he thought, I'm too young to be doing this. I need a mommy. So, early the next morning, the baby left his little house. Bye bye baby. And set off down the road to find a mommy. The baby could not walk far without resting. He could not walk fast without falling over. But he kept going just the same. After a while, the baby met a cat. This cat was sitting on a wall, washing herself behind her ears. I'm a little baby, said the little baby, with no mommy. Will you be my mommy? No, but I'll be your cat, said the cat, if you pour me a saucer of milk now and then. Also, I'll help you find your mommy. She could pour me some milk too. So, then, the baby set off down the road. Bye bye baby, with the cat beside him. They had not gone far before they met a teddy. This teddy was sitting under a tree having a picnic. I'm a little baby, said the little baby, with no mommy. Will you be my mommy? No, but I'll be your teddy, said the teddy, if you give me a cuddle once in a while. Also, I'll help you find your mommy. She could be my mommy too. So, then, the baby set off down the road. Bye bye baby, with the teddy and the cat beside him. They had not gone far before they met a clockwork hen. This hen was scratching in the dirt at the side of the road and clucking to herself. I'm a little baby, said the little baby, with no mommy. Will you be my mommy? Cluck, cluck, said the hen, which meant, No, but I'll be your clockwork hen if you promise not to overwin me. Also, I'll help you find your mommy. A mommy is a hen's best friend, so they say. So, then, the baby set off down the road. Bye bye baby, with the clockwork hen and the teddy and the cat beside him. They had not gone far before they met an old uncle. This old uncle was sitting on a bench, reading a book. I'm a little baby, said the little baby, with no mommy. Will you be my mommy? No, but I'll be your old uncle, said the old uncle, if you don't wake me up in the night. Also, I'll help you find your mommy. Everybody needs his mommy, even me. So, then, the baby set off down the road. Bye bye baby, with the old uncle and the clockwork hen and the teddy and the cat be beside him. They had not gone far before the trouble started. The baby tripped over and bumped his nose. The teddy tripped over and bumped his. Both of them fell on the hen. The old uncle tried to help, but only throw on the cat's tail. Worst of all, the sky grew suddenly dark and it began to rain. The baby sat on the ground and also on the hen. I want my mommy, he cried. He wants his mommy, shouted the old uncle. Mommy, shouted the cat and the teddy. Cluck, which meant mommy, shouted the hen. I want my mommy. Just then, round the corner came a lady pushing a pram. Did somebody call? She said, I'm a little baby, cried the little baby, with no mommy. There's a coincidence, said the lady. I'm a mommy with no little baby. You could be made for each other, said the old uncle. Then the baby said, will you be my mommy? And the mommy said, yes. After that, the new mommy picked up her new baby, wiped her tears from his eyes and gave him a big kiss. With the rain falling faster, she put him in the pram and led the way up the road to her own little house. As they hurried along, the teddy said, Will you be my mommy too? Over and over again, the cat said, Do you have, a sin Do you have any milk in your house? And the hen said, Cluck. With this time just meant cluck. She was still dazed from being sat on. In the house, the mommy gave the baby a warm bath and a dry nappy. The old uncle made a pot of tea. The teddy opened a packet of ginger biscuits. 
all of them sat together in front of the fire. The old uncle sipped his tea and turned the pages of the book. Read us a story, said the baby as he snuggled his mommy's lap. What sort of story, said a sad one, said the cat. With a happy ending, the mommy said. Right, said the old uncle. Then, with the firelight flickering in the room and the rain still rattling on the windows, he began to read. There was once a baby who had no daddy. The baby's little eyes grew wide. I'm a baby who has no daddy, he said. There is another coincidence, said the cat. The baby clambered down for his mommy's knee and headed for the door. He's off to find the daddy, the teddy said. After that, after that, the baby set off down the road. Bye bye baby, with his mommy and the old uncle and the teddy and the cat and the clockwork hand beside him. And by and by they met a horse. Will you be my daddy? And by and by they met a rabbit. Will you be my daddy? And by and by they met a daddy. Will you be my daddy? And the daddy said, Yes! The end.